but don't mix sin with the things of Jehovah and expect to be blessed. You will be cut off, uncovered in front of everybody. That's what the word says. He's the word covered. So get it ready. Stop being puffed up. Stop being so proud. But work the work. Work a godly work. Work a work out of the principles of the spirit of the Lord. Work like this should be. What? To fulfill the purpose of your mama, his father. That's what we want. That's what we want. We don't want to miss Jehovah. We don't want Jehovah's judgment to come upon us. We want to get rid of that pride and all that stuff. No, 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 no. In Psalms chapter 6, verses 7 through 9, my eye is consumed because of grief. It's whacked over because of all my enemies. Depart with me, all these workers of iniquity. But the Lord hath heard my voice of my weeping, and the Lord heard my supplications, and the Lord will receive my prayers. And this, I'm talking to you out there, you're doing the work of the work of Jehovah. And because you're living holy and you're living righteous. Okay, I'm going to talk to some people here just for a second. I'm moving kind of quickly, but y'all pray for me. Listen, I'm talking to the woman out there that is being kept. Amen. You're not going to sleep with nobody until you give to your marriage. Until you're married. You're not going to sleep. And you're, and you're praying. And you're fasting. And you're doing the things of Jehovah. You may have went through a divorce. You may have never been married. And you're doing it. And guess what? You're being talked about uh, by women and men. Now you wouldn't think that your women and your girlfriends would tell you you need to go out and do this and do that. No. But you're doing it with women and men. So there are people that are bothering you. Why you're doing the work of the work. They're judging your character. And Yoga is saying right now, listen, he's heard your prayer. He's heard your prayer. And listen, this is that separation I was talking about earlier. Get away from the you workers of iniquity. Uh-huh. You know, it's like it's like being 40 years old, business and, and not married. And you know, and so what? So you know, well man, you know, I don't know how you do this, and I don't know how you do that. And you know, Zuri, how do you how do you go with this and how do you go with that? Well, wait a minute. I thought you, I thought you were, I thought you were a, a worker. I thought you were a believer in the principles of Jehovah. I thought you were my brother. I thought you were my sisters. And you know what? I come to find out you nothing but a, a worker of the Get out of my way. Why not? Why not say get out of the way? Because I'm serving Jehovah. It's simple. There's certain principles based on the kingdom that he would send and he would bless my God. That he would bless my hands, that he would bless my going, that he said that I would be above and not beneath, that I would be the lender, not the borrow. Guess what? And it comes back from the Torah, from the commandments. So I keep the principles of Jehovah and I follow the blessings of Jehovah. But if I follow you, amen, it leads me to destruction. It leads me to blessing. You don't need to let a whole lot of people in your life right now. Let me tell you something. There are people who want to open up doors, but those doors are shut for a reason. Jehovah has a design time for you. Let me tell you something. He didn't overlook you. And he made this situation just the way it is. So you continue in holiness. And know that Jehovah has heard your prayers. He's heard your cry at night. Hey, listen. Let me tell you something. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Let me tell you something. There's nothing about nothing wrong with weeping. I know what it's like to feel lonely. I remember it for about five minutes. And I remember that time when I felt lonely. Jehovah wrapped me up in that bed. Amen. Ain't been lonely since. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to tell you something. You can make it from here. Don't you pay people no mind. What you need to do is get from behind me, Satan. For thou speaketh the things that not be of God, but of men. They're bringing you flesh. And guess what? We recognize their flesh and we call them out on it and send them another way. And you keep moving forward because there's a work in a work for you. Jehovah has a work for you. Listen, go ahead and clap those hands. Jehovah has a work for you. Jehovah wants to move for you. It's not over for you. It's not over for you. It's just beginning. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. In Proverbs 16 and 3, if you commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. If you commit your works, the things that you're doing, unto the Lord, 
He will establish your thoughts. Your, your thoughts shall be established. He will cause you to have success or great success. So shall your plan succeed and have great success. What do you do? You have to commit them unto Jehovah. Everything that you do, you want to commit it unto Jehovah. Your works, your ideals, your business plan. Amen. Those things, um, I'm that's not popular with me, but they say ministry. Your ministry. You want to commit that unto Jehovah. You commit thy works unto the Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. He wants to move for you. There's no, there, there, there's, there's nothing that you will not be able to accomplish if you put him first and you make him the center of that which you're doing. In Matthew 26, verses 9 through 11. For this anointment might have been sold for much and even given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she have wrought a good work unto me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. Let me tell you something. There's some women and there's some brothers out there that you are doing a good work. You're doing the work of Jehovah. You're coming and you're you, you, you're over the, 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 the youth ministry, you're over the hospitality, whatever it is, whatever it is, you're doing a good work and they're always challenging everything that you do. Somebody always wants to give you a correction. Somebody always wants to, they want to find fault in this area and that area. And you're giving it, you're giving everything of you into it. Your, your, your body, your mind, and your time is a living sacrifice in it. You're pouring everything in it. And you have a pure heart and pure intentions because all you want to do is please Jehovah. Let me tell you something. Jehovah is pleased with your work. You keep working the work. You don't give up in the work. Don't you pay them people any mind. You continue to do what Jehovah does, is telling you to do, and serve him with your heart. And he's going to come through for you. In Acts 13, chapter 40, I'm almost done now. A Acts chapter 13, verses 40 to 42. Beware therefore, lest thou come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. Behold, ye despisers and wonders and perish. For I work a work in your days. I'll say it again. For I work a work. I work a work in your days. A works which ye shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. Now, Jehovah is going to work a work in your space. And people aren't even going to believe it because you're going to start proclaiming some things and speaking some things. Because you're tied into the Father, you're the Word alive, and the Holy Spirit, and you're one. And the greater works are upon you this day. Everyone under the sound of my voice that can receive this, you that are out there that are working the work, and you've been dealing with struggles, and you've been, you've been backed up, and you know, the, the more you work, the more things are coming against you. The more you pray, the more things are coming against you. The more you start prayer meetings, you start this ministry, that ministry, this fellowship, that fellowship. It seems like things just start happening. They just don't happen in, in the ministry, but they happen in your home. They're happening with your children. They're happening with your bills. You may be up against financial struggles. Whatever it is, the sickness may have come, and, and, and they, may have, they may have given you a diagnosis of, of, that, that you got this disease or this problem and that problem, and you're wondering why this is happening now. Well, listen, let me tell you something. It's because you're about to work a work, and guess what? Nobody's going to believe it, not unless somebody even tells them. Let me tell you something. This is the time where the presence of Jehovah is going to fall on you the believer it's going to fall on you the worker listen let me tell you something if you would just separate yourself today listen just just go with me on this and separate yourself from the workers of iniquity separate yourselves from those that have been playing separate yourselves from them jokes separate yourself from gossip amen separate yourself from jealousy you know what i'm talking about there are people out there that you have been in contact with for years and guess what the reality of it is is they just jealous 
of you. They're envious of you, and you have to fight to even talk to them. Let me tell you something. The only reason why they talk to you is about foolishness. They ain't never talking about nothing to edify. You can't have a good relationship with them because if Yehovah gives you just a now fresh word, amen, they can't receive it. They got to come up with something else, you know, or they got to add to it, you know, and what they call that being deep. But the real reason is, is they're not seasoned. These, these, these aren't seasoned people. What these people are, these are people that are envious of you. And I'm calling you out right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice that has jealousy or envy, guess what? You've been, you've been, you've been exposed. Amen. We talked about you workers of iniquities being exposed today. And so you just got it. And I'm trying to tell you right now, those people, get them out of your life. Get them out of your life. Keep moving on because guess what? There's 10 other people behind them that need what Yehovah's deposit in you. And guess what? There is a brighter day. There is a day where you're going to see the blessings of Yehovah. He's going to make you the head and not the tail above and never to me and cause you to be the lender and never to borrow. This is the plan of Yehovah for all those under the sound of my voice. Receive this word and be blessed. And Father, we thank you. We give that name glory. Glory, Yabasa, we worship you. Yabasa, Yabasa, your word works, your word works. The word, the word of Jehovah, it works, it works, it works, it moves, it moves, it moves, it moves them away from us. The workers of iniquities are moved away. Yabasa, Hey, in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One, they're moving away, they're moving away, and we're being formed in the workers of the kingdom of Jehovah. And we thank you, under the Osaya, and we thank you for your word today. We thank you for your word today. We thank you for your word today. We thank you for the principles of your word. We thank you for the power of your word. We thank you for the influence of your word. Move over your people with your word. I shall perform, it shall perform, it shall perform. Things shall manifest through this word. Under the Osaya, it is so sealed and done. I am in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. Father, everyone under the sound of my voice that may be sick and afflicted, you in your hospitals, you in your homes, and you in beds and you can't move and things of this nature. Listen, I pray for you today. The power of Yehovah touch your body right now. Woman, you're healed. Man, you're healed. The power of Yehovah, it reaches you right now. His presence goes there. Ayabasha. His presence, I said, the presence, the presence touches your body right now. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. I'm praying for young man Arnold in, in York, New York. Amen. I'm praying for you, Arnold. Let me tell you something. The Lord has a work for you. He has a work for you. And I pray right now that every stronghold would be broken. I consecrate over to it. That consecration would come upon you, young man. And that deliverance would come upon you in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. I break every plan of the devil in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And young man, you shall be a servant of Yehovah. You shall teach, you shall preach, you shall serve Yehovah's people. And it is so sealed and done for your life. In the mighty name of Yeshua. All those under the sound of my voice. Woman, you that need healing, Yehovah heals you. You that need financial breakthroughs. I pray now that the surplus, the increase, the finances from heaven, the treasures of Yehovah, it reaches your door. It reaches your bank account. His presence is over your accounts. Amen. You're learning how to budget and you're learning how to make it multiply. It multiplies. That what he gives you, it multiplies. Ah, It multiplies in the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. And Father, I thank you for all things in your holy name. It's in your holy name I pray this prayer. Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. It is so sealed and done for your people. Amen, amen. Well, God bless you. That is this particular broadcast. I just want you to know I love all of you. Well, I tell you, I hope you had fun tonight spending this little time with me. Maybe a little longer, but, you know, um, I think it's one for Keith's sakes because, you know, I just wanted to share with somebody because this is actually how it started. Amen. 
Um, I'll never forget it started in.